¿Sabes qué? A tomar por culo. Mamá, coge las maletas, hacemos las maletas y nos vamos a Santa Mónica. ¿Qué dices? A Santa Mónica nos vamos, hombre. Ya está bien. Te explain you in a minute. We were leaving, but we forgot a spoon. What? Did you just say a spoon? For the kids to eat yogurt, maybe I'll take two. And some napkins. You thought I was mad at the beginning of the video? I'm not mad, that was a joke. It was a joke, I'm just... It was a bad joke. Let's go, mama. We exit through the garage because our neighbor has our keys. It's very kind to check out. If Missy the cat eats fine every day. So this is the plan. We are leaving now and we're gonna get first to LA, to Los Angeles downtown, and then we will get to Santa Monica. This song reminds me to my friend Tim Perrine. We've just been upgraded, I'll explain you why in a second. This is a nice, this is a nice camera. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. A little bit too big. I wish what, kind of, what kind of camera is it? It's a... Uh, it's Canon? Yeah, it's a Canon. It's the old Canon EOS R. Oh, okay. The first New York... And that one has video as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one has video. It's not like we haven't traveled for the longest time. We just came back from Orlando. But the two main reasons why we came here for three days with the kids is... Number one, I love my kids. They actually go to daycare from 8 to 12 and then it's family time every day. But at the same time, I work from home. I have a business to run, cinematic composing. I've got my movies. I'm gonna feel stressed because I know that I have to pay them attention, but I also have to work. So we decided, you know what? What? Let's just take a break for a few days. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna enjoy the time with them during the day. And then we usually wake up very early in the morning. So we'll work from 4 to 8 a.m. and then when they go to sleep from 7, 8 to 10, 11 p.m. something like this. So not much sleep, but I think it's gonna work out. We just got the creeps, creeps for the kids. The team doesn't know that we are here. When Esteban hears that that we are doing what we're doing, he's gonna be like, que 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 estáis donde? But we're gonna work, we're gonna work and we're gonna be connected, <laughs> just not during the day. We're gonna work a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna work a little bit more during the night. 4 to 8 a.m. here LA time in Argentina, it's like 8 to 12 or something like this. So that's where Stefan is located. Reason number two: cinematic composing. We run ads on Facebook and YouTube. We've been doing that for a while. I got this card. It's an Amex card. And we run the ads through this card. They give us points for travel and like planes, hotels, things like this, because we haven't COVID. We haven't traveled for, I think I had like 2 million points. It's not 2 million dollars. Oh. It's points, it's, it's way less money than that. But we were like, can we do a hotel reservation with the, with the points that we've got? We've never done that. Turns out that we can and this trip because we didn't have to fly, we took the car, in an hour we are here, free! Free, free, free! And we just got upgraded! With desserts, huh? <laughs> See? American Express 
bla 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 room upgrade and a hundred dollars what seriously what and champagne i don't drink vamos a hablar claramente let's just speak for real i don't even know if this room is freaking amazing like 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 Esto para el canal de Cinematic Composing cada vez es menos serio, eh. I brought my computer to compose a little bit. I'll be composing tomorrow morning. A little bit. It's not like I'm here on vacation. Right? No. We just downloaded an app. It's called Baby Monitor Savvy. Is it a string? Oh. Yeah, it is. It so we can leave the room. We will, we will have one phone here with the kids when, when they are sleeping at 4 a.m. And most likely we're gonna go somewhere in the hotel to work so we can work and talk, right? This open a new whole world of possibilities. <laughs> it just came to my mind, whenever you're stuck as a composer, as a creator, Whenever you're trying to compose something doesn't come out, trying to mix doesn't sound good, stop, stop doing what you're doing and do something else. We were struggling uh, with today, which is that we are in a phase of growth, cinematic composing, but we need to hire more people and we don't know where to start. I was about to start composing a movie, but that project got canceled. A lot of work, a lot of stuff to do, but we don't have time, we don't know where to start. Just stop, stop, and what we have done is we are going to continue to work, but one, we're gonna enjoy, we're gonna force ourselves to enjoy time with the kids when they are around. Two, we're still gonna work, but let's just change the environment. And just changing the environment sometimes brings ideas and inspiration. Change your environment and everything changes. So I guess that's something, like we, as composers, we can't change the environment all the time. But if we have to mix, sometimes we can change the environment. If we need to compose and we've got writer's block, just go take a walk. When you came back, you're in the same environment, but you've been around another environment for a little while, and that maybe sparkles some ideas or the right melody or the right colors, whatever it is. All right, so we are leaving the room. Every time that we leave the room, she, that's always the same joke. Do you have the keys? And I'm like, ah! She's got the keys. <laughs> it's not the first time that we are in this hotel. There's a story behind this. We came here in another life. We came here uh, five years ago before cinematic composing. This is weird, but it's nice. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna finish the story. Nice views. We came here five years ago to a marketing event. Yes, another one. We were working for a tech company in Spain and... Okay, perdona. We got kicked out and we were kind of representing them here in the US just to make a little bit of money because we were very tight. We, here's the story. We moved here to LA from Spain to pursue my career as a film composer. We were working in Spain as teachers and we were able to save 10, 15,000 dollars in six years. We moved here and we had every possible gig and job that we could do to support our life here in LA. Because at the beginning there weren't that many projects. In fact, we struggled financially after a couple of months, but we had that gig uh, sort of like representing that tech company from Spain here in LA and we were supposed to attend marketing events to promote that company and we went to this hotel to one of these marketing networking events and that is why today we choose to go to that hotel because it felt like full circle and so many things have happened and have changed the only thing that hasn't changed is me I'm still composing I'm still a composer and working here in Hollywood but other than that, two kids, we've moved five times in four or five years, cinematic composing. All right, so now we're gonna take a walk, let the kids run a little bit to burn a little bit of energy. We're gonna be next to the Santa Monica Pier and then we're gonna have dinner.
it's so weird to see the beer so empty. I guess it's because it's October, September, post-pandemic, but uh, it's weird.